Good morning, guys. Uh, I wanted to give you. A, I'm going to give you a, a huge write-up of instructions for uh, boxes and bullets uh, today with our writing assignment, our argumentative writing assignment. Uh, what we did, I think it was uh, last Thursday, was you gave me an assignment of how do you feel about participation trophies? Do you want them? Do you think agree with them? You think that they're good, uh, or do you think that they're bad? And and you have to give me a reason. And that's just your beginning thought to the process. And then I gave you an article that for the most part supported giving out participation trophies. So you were able to see that. And then there was um, yesterday's article, which was more uh, negative towards them. Like this is, you should not be giving out uh, participation trophies. So what I, what we're going to do today is I'm going to give you two more articles and I'm going to give you a sheet uh, called boxes and bullets. And um, box and bullet sheet you'll see is, is uh, it's going to have a claim statement up top. You're going to ignore it because uh, we're going to have a lesson on that uh, later in the week. Uh, but you are going to read the articles today uh, at your time. If you don't even want to read them today, you want to read them today, you want to read one today, you want to read one tomorrow, you pick. You're going to have about five days. I'm going to keep putting new articles out there, but the assignment is not going to change. Your job right now is... After reading uh, the article on Friday and the article on Monday, I want you to pick a side now. Even if you had, say you said, listen, I'm, I think participatory trophies are not good. And then you read the two articles and it changed your mind. And now you think that they are. Then that's the side you're going to represent. You pick whatever side you want to represent. You're only going to talk about your side. You're going to be, you're going to write an argumentative essay to the town of Connecticut whether or not they should keep participation trophies. And we're going to send these articles into them. And uh, so, but you have to have a well-researched article. So today I'm going to give you this box and bullet sheet. It's going to have a claim statement. Like I said, up top, you're not going to leave, you're going to leave it blank. Then there's going to be reason one, reason two, reason three. And with those three reasons, there's going to be three supporting details that go with it. So what's important for that is, if you give a reason, if for example, if you say, I don't like cereal, very simple answer. I, I can't just say my reason one is I don't like cereal. You would have to say, I don't like cereal. And here are the three reasons why I don't like it. Right. Or you could say, I don't like cereal. I don't like cereal could be your, your, your statement. And then you could give you three reasons why. And then you could say, I don't like cereal because it's high in sugar. And then you could go on and list three effects of how too much sugar in your diet is bad for you. All that would all go in the same paragraph because it was all about the negative effects of sugar in cereal. And then you would pick another reason why you don't like cereal. I don't like cereal because it's too expensive. And then you could list three different areas where cereals uh, across the country have become so expensive and it's hard for people to buy. And there's so many different knockoffs. Whatever it is, they, they all go to that category. So what you're going to do on scrap paper, even before your box of bullets, maybe list some ideas that you have of why participation trophies are bad or why they're good. And then try to make a list of, oh, this would go to that category. This would go to that main idea. This would go there. This would go there. And you, and you develop a boxes and bullets list. And I'm going to give that to you today that you just you can type in on your computer. You don't have to get paper. You don't have to print any article out. And when you're collecting your research, when you're looking at it, you can make notes on the uh, research papers that I'm giving you because they're going to be yours. I'm giving everybody their own copy. Again, you don't have to print them. They're going to be right there on the computer for you. And uh, it's going to be very easy to operate as long as you don't get stressed out by it. If you get stressed out by it, there's nothing that can be done. You're going to have plenty of time to do it. And even if the due date and you're still not ready, I'll give you more time. Just relax. I want this done right. So what's going to happen is once all your, your sheet of boxes and bullets is filled out and there'll be a claims lesson in the next couple of days. So the whole thing will be done. You'll, you'll hit that button in the right corner that says hand in or submit. And I'll, then I'll look at it. And that's just a peer teacher. Look at, it. I'm going to look at it. See if it makes sense. See if it's a good way to start. If there's changes that need to be made, 
we need to, uh, we'll, we'll go back in and make more. So today you're going to get two more articles that you could collect research on. And remember, when you're collecting research, it's important. You're going to have your own opinion, absolutely. Every single thing that you write in there, your opinion is going to be in there as well. Argumentative, I want to know your thoughts. But make sure the information you collect, not all of it has to be, but make sure the people that you're getting or you're quoting are experts on that that actually ha ha have some knowledge, you know, on what how it affected somebody. It's either someone that's played the sports before. It's either uh, a teacher. It's a coach. It's a psychologist, uh, a social worker, people that have seen the effects of participation trophies one way or another. And that's the, those are like the experts in that field. Listen, mom and dads can be experts as well, but they typically, because I'm one I know, you typically just don't want to see your children upset. Me, you know how I am. You, you win, great. If not, you know, it's okay. We learned something. We'll get better. And you don't need a trophy to symbolize that. But doesn't mean I'm against participating trophies. I just understand that argument. So you pick which way you want. I don't care which way you go. I'm looking forward to hearing some great uh, discussions, uh, great uh, articles and essays. I'm really looking forward to that. Now, so today, do the best you can to fill out box and bullets. If you want to jump around the box and bullets, say you found three reasons, but maybe you only have one example for this, no examples for that yet, and maybe two examples for the bottom one. Fine. That works. If you want to just do, I did one reason. And I gave three great details and I'm done for today. Fine. If you wanted to do just uh, three reasons and none of them have details, fine. If you want to do nothing, that's on you. If you don't have time today to do anything, then don't do it. Do it when you have time. Okay. There's two articles. One of them's a little bit longer. So if it's tiring for you, Put it away and do it another day. Break it up into two days. You don't have to do it. It's great reading. It's great nonfiction reading. Uh, I went through it, so the reading is appropriate for us. Uh, and that's it for today. I want you to not stress it. Uh, I'm going to be posting the math lesson soon. The Soul Studies Assignment will be coming out soon. And uh, and we're going to be ready to go today. I hope to see you at the parade today. Remember to follow the route. You know, there's really not much we could do. I know a lot of people are missed on that route, and that's a that's that stinks. But uh, you know, when when the fire trucks come here to my house for you know with Santa on it, you know, it never ever drives by my house. So we, we get as a family, we go in a car and we go to an area that we know the uh, the truck's going to be at, so we can wave and say hello. It's a it's a ten minute experience. That I'd love you to be a part of, but if you're not, I know there'll be videos of it posting and, and, and uh, we feel your love, whether you see us or not. And I hope that you, you feel our love too. All right, guys, I'll talk to you later today. Uh, hopefully I'll wave to you at the parade, but if I don't see you at the parade, I'll see you back here at four o'clock. Uh, we will do chasing Lincoln's killer today, but no near pods. Uh, that's it. I'm going to start every day from now on with a morning announcement as well. I see somebody's watching. I shut off all comments. I was hoping you'd be sleeping. Uh, every morning, I'm going to try to just give you a, a, a verbal directions of what I want you to do or what I would like you to do. And uh, and maybe this will help you guys understand the day a little bit better. All right. So no Neopods at all today. We're going to resume on uh, Wednesday. Yesterday, they were phenomenal. Um, and we'll be, uh, we'll be at the parade at 12 and Jason Lincoln's killer at four. All right, guys. Love you.